Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and this is basically going to be episode 1 of my new series, Packer Hybrid. If you don't understand how this series works, then there will be a link to video, sorry, there'll be an annotation to a video on screen around there, to a video explaining exactly how this series is supposed to work. If you have any suggestions, then let them, sorry, write them down in the comments section, either on this video or the introduction video, and I will look at them and review them. So anyway, Let's open the first, well, the only pack this um, episode. Um, yeah, if you, uh, I'll, I'll briefly go over it. Basically, since this promo packs, I'm going to be opening one pack, and the three res I do get, I will be building a hybrid. When the promo pack, ooh, Sergio Busquets. That's not bad. I mean, doesn't go for a lot, but he's 85 raid. Right, sorry about that. Basically, I'll be building a hybrid this episode with Andre Diaz, uh, Tiote, and Busquets. So, in future episodes when there's no promo packs, I'll be opening three 7.5k packs and taking the three best players out of them. If it's 15k packs, then two. If it's a 50k pack, one. 25k pack, one. And yeah, just because I don't have a lot of coins, as I've said in the introduction video, so I can't spend a lot on packs regularly. So anyway, let's see what team I eventually build. Okay, I'm back, I've built the team, now I apologise, it is only three uh, leagues and four nations, so it's not much of a hybrid, it's kind of a weak one, but I did have two CDMs that didn't link with the centre-back that I'd got in the pack, so it was a bit unfortunate, like hopefully next time I get a forward, a midfielder and a defender or a goalkeeper or something, so there's a bit more of a mixture, so it's easier to hybridise, but anyway, the team is... Rafael, Miranda, Andres Diaz, David Luiz. He's got a red card because I had him in my club before and the match I played just before. He got a red card. I haven't played any games with his team. As you can see, zero games played, zero games played. And he's had four games played. So, no wait, three for me. Sorry, I was looking at goals. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's had three games. But anyway, um, then obviously, Teote and Busquets. Um, Christian Teo, Torres, Carzola, Remy and Ben Arfa. Um I think it looks like a pretty strong team to be honest. Um, I've tried to pick strong players that I enjoy on FIFA for episode 1 so hopefully I'll be able to get a few good goals, good highlights. So yeah, I'll just, uh, during the highlights, I'll say whether or not I like this team and how it played and things like that so yeah. Okay, so I'm back for the highlights. Um, this team did play quite well, but one thing I noticed is it hit the crossbar, the post, so many times, and it just couldn't find the final finish. I mean, look at that. It hits the crossbar, and then Remy gets an easy tap in. He seems to be there at the right place at the right time. So he's probably my favorite, along with Ben Alpha. I mean, I think that was pretty nice bit of skill. I would delayed a little, little bit on the shot. I uh, should have shot a lot earlier. But yeah, overall, um, uh, I, I don't know, apart from Remy and Ben Arfa, I don't think it was a really good team. Um, uh, there's not a lot to say. I mean, look, I've hit the bar again, and then I think that should have been a penalty. The defence was okay. It was okay. And uh, look again, the, the post. And then look, Remy walks in the post, can't score, it, ugh, it just happened so many times. But, um, I don't know, I've said that a lot. Uh, that was a nice goal, I think, from Sandy Cozzola. He seemed to um, assist a few, like, he assisted this corner as well. Um, but these highlights are coming to the end, so if you do enjoy the concept of this series, or you have any suggestions, like, comment in the comment section and like the video. And yeah, subscribe for daily FIFA 14 content. Peace.